Homemade Slate, Scene 1, Take 6, Stand By, and Action. Okay, so this is my new slate that I made. Um, pretty simple. Just a whiteboard and some wood. This is my first one made out of card or uh, foam core board, which is not very professional looking. And as you can see, there's lines in it because uh, it got sat on for some reason. And the clap is not very amazing. So off with that one. And I made this new one. Uh, it's a lot different than the other one. It's got an actual wood clapper. And actually, you can, it actually does make a real clap. Uh, so basically what I did was I just took a whiteboard that I bought at Walmart for about uh, three bucks, I think. And uh, I took a piece of uh, a permanent marker and just drew the lines and wrote out uh, all the information. And as you can see, Siren Tech is misspelled. I forgot the E, but I actually kind of like it that way. And I may also erase that and turn the N backwards. I don't know. Uh, but as you can see, you can put the deduction there. Roll, that would be for the roll of film. I don't use film, I use cards, so I might change that to cards too. Scene, which is a scene, you know. And take. Director, camera, time, date, morning, noon, and night. Uh, I could put more in, but that's all I really need. I don't, I, actually, I don't even really need one of these. The only reason I did, did made one of these is I am making a video that uh, requires one of these as a part of the video itself as a prop, not actual use. Anyway, for the clapper bit, uh, it's I think a one by one and half inch uh, pine wood. I got that for about uh, four bucks. Not very cheap, in my opinion. Um, and a lot of them are pretty warped. But anyway, it works. And the hinge, unlike most other homemade ones I've seen, where they use uh, something that they've bought or something, or an actual hinge, which I didn't like because they kind of have a little play and kind of move back and forth. And I want it to work like the real ones. So I took a piece of um, aluminum uh, flat bit, I don't know what to call that, uh, and just drilled holes there and put some screws in and so it can actually pivot uh, I had to saw off some of the wood right there so it can move and then for the paint the actual stripes which this is what I really like what I did was I just took um, flat black spray paint uh, taped the whole board off you know so I wouldn't get tape on or spray paint on that and uh, painted that flat black and then waited a day for that to dry and then I came back and put masking tape over there uh, and made it so it had that little I don't know what kind of shape you would call that but that pointy arrow shape I'll call it uh, and then put some tape on the edges you know and then spray painted it took it off and as you can see it has some very nice uh, looking stripes uh, a lot better than the other one that was just colored in also for the back to increase more strength this I took a piece of a uh, quarter inch uh, angle aluminum and screwed it on to the wood and to the board uh, and I also have it glued on to there so that's basically it very simple and uh, also I added this little screw so I can lift it up with one hand too so that's all so I'm just wondering uh, do you guys want me to make a tutorial for this because I may because it was pretty simple Alright, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Catch you later.